Hey! Hey! I'm Mr. O, here with another oh, wow. moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. Oh good, having a little cereal before we get going. Fortified with iron, excellent. What does fortified with iron mean? Means that there's iron in your cereal. Yeah, right. You mean they actually put pieces of iron in here? Basically, yeah. Ew! Why would they put iron in my cereal? Well, to keep you healthy. Here, let me show you. These are erythrocytes, red blood cells. You have millions of these cells in each drop of blood in your body. Now, these cells are red because they are filled with millions of very special molecules called hemoglobin. Oh, I've heard of that. It helps carry oxygen around your body. Right, and each hemoglobin molecule has four iron atoms in it. The iron is what the oxygen binds to when the blood travels from the lungs to the body, and what the carbon dioxide binds to when going from the body back to the lungs. And I know oxygen is important for people, but why is it so important? Oxygen is essential for us to metabolize foods to create energy. What it comes down to is this. Glucose, which is simple sugar, and oxygen undergo a chemical reaction in your body to produce water, carbon dioxide, and energy. So no iron means no hemoglobin, means no oxygen can enter our body, which means we have no energy. Now you get it. So you really expect me to believe that there are pieces of iron in here big enough to be seen? Well, let me show it to you a different way. Before we begin, remember, science is fun, but it can also be dangerous. So always have a responsible adult helping you. You'll need a blender, cereal fortified with iron, a one gallon Ziploc bag, water, and some magnets. Rare earth magnets are best, but be very careful. They are very strong magnets. Pour one cup of cereal into a blender and add a cup of water. Put on the top and blend it at the top speed for a few minutes until you have a soupy mix. Remove the container from the blender base and open the top. If you still see any large pieces or the mixture is very thick, add a little more water and blend it again. Pour your cereal soup into a Ziploc bag. Add a little more water to the blending container and pour the rinse into a bag too. Seal the bag. Slowly make little circles with the magnet around the lower part of the bag. Okay, take a look at your magnet. You see those black specks? That's the iron in your cereal that your body can use to make more hemoglobin for your red blood cells. So Mr. O, what happens if you don't get enough iron in your diet? People without enough iron in their diet don't make enough hemoglobin, so they end up with a disease called iron deficiency anemia. And in iron deficiency anemia, people tend to be more tired and they generally catch more diseases than people without anemia. I have a totally different question. You said blood cells are red, but my textbook shows veins are blue. How can they be blue if blood cells are red? That is a great question because blue veins are a myth. Your blood is red whether or not it has oxygen. The only difference is blood with oxygen is a bright red and blood without oxygen is a very dark red. The idea that your veins are blue, that's more due to the light and the way it interacts with your skin than anything that has to do with the color of your blood. As for textbooks, they use the blue to help you distinguish between arteries and veins. Unfortunately, it tends to perpetuate the myth that veins are blue. Bit of an irony, don't you think? Get it? Irony? Irony? Huh? What? This has been another Oh Wow moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play. <laughs>